We've been full-time liveaboards for a few weeks now, and some of you have asked, what's it like? Well, today we want to share with you our liveaboard newbie thoughts and first impressions. So stay tuned for the full scoop. Hey y'all, welcome to the See All Life. I'm Andrea, this is Tom, and we have two pups. We're a couple of Texas transplants living the empty nest life to the fullest. For us, that's living part-time on our 44-foot the fever trawler in San Diego. Our hope is that as you join us on our dreams and adventures, we'll inspire you to discover your own. First, we thought we'd share what does daily life look like as a liveaboard? Well, my daily life, during the week anyways, alarm goes off at 6.15. Normally lay my clothes out the night before because I wear a suit every day. And then I get in a small shower and <laughs> shave and eat a little breakfast, make a little coffee and um, head off to work. No different than living in a house, but just everything's smaller and more compact. And if you don't stay organized, you're in trouble. You're like, stuck. Yeah, if I don't have everything laid out and ready to go, I'm looking for stuff. Yeah, even though there are so many fewer places to look, that's sort of ironic. It is ironic, yeah. But maybe that's also just because we're new on the boat. Yeah, and then the other part is I feel a little goofy walking down the docks in a full suit every day. <laughs> He's every, the only one for sure. Yeah, everybody else is in shorts or flip-flops and t-shirts and uh, some people head off to work because we have a lot of live boards here, but they also own like a boat maintenance company or some people work on their boats and um, they're not wearing suits though. No. He's the only one, but he's cute. He's cute. So what does it look like for me and Rosie? Um, we have, since we've moved to the new marina, Rosie and I have been on a new little fitness routine where we go walking and jogging for about an hour every day. And I don't know how long Rosie can continue because she, uh, after about 45 minutes, she will like get back on her haunches and say, no, we're not going anymore. And I have to give her a little pep talk, keep going. But we've been pretty good about doing that every day. And I spend time every day working on our YouTube channel. I do all the shopping and all the cooking and just social plans and keeping the boat clean. That's pretty much my yeah. day to day. And we do it in paradise. Yes. I'm looking out at the palm trees and the marina and yeah just gorgeous your running uh, little route must be really beautiful it's it's gorgeous um, we just run around shelter island we're on the boardwalk for part of it and it's just nice to be out by the water seeing all the boats and all the other dogs which Rosie barks at I have to pick her up so what do we like most about the full-time little board life for me I would say living on the water you just can't beat it and to live on the water in this city san diego um, if you're in a home a condo is extremely cost prohibitive so i would say living on the water at a really affordable price i love waking up i love seeing all the seagulls i love like you said the palm trees i love the peace the serenity of the water and that's definitely one of my favorite things about living on a boat. Another one is just the simplicity. We don't have near as many belongings on the boat. There's fewer things to take care of, fewer things to lose, just fewer things to deal fewer with. possessions. Yeah. More stuff, more problems. Yeah, it's fewer um, rooms to clean, um, fewer clothes to wash. It's just um, a simpler lifestyle Less, living on a boat. You know, you mentioned, I mentioned walking the docks in my suit and everything, but yeah, Hearing the seagulls or visiting the seagulls as I'm walking out. I saw a dolphin in the harbor the other day. It's just, we love being around the ocean. The smells, everything about it. It's just, um, it's cool. And the people here at our new dock are super friendly too. We're just getting to know them, but really, really nice people. Yeah. So the other great convenience is our new neighborhood. We're obviously right by the marina, um, the office and everything, the bathrooms and um, we have a great restaurant and a little hotel here and a great bar, like really cheers-esque where you walk in, everybody knows you and kind of knows your favorite adult beverage and it's just a happy place. And then we join a yacht club that is literally 200 yards away on the other side. 
So we can walk to that. It's it's a very unassuming yacht club. It is. It, it's embarrassing to even say the word yacht club. I don't know why, but um, and then we have a concert venue like three two doors, doors down, down yeah, three doors, doors down. down. We went to the Go Go's concert the other night. Totally spur of the moment. Like yeah. we just decided late Wednesday night. Let's go see the Go Go's tomorrow night, and, and we did. Yeah, if you we grew up in the '80s and graduated in '81 and '82, and the Go Go's were like the hottest band. What are you doing, then. telling them how old I am? '81, '82, <laughs> not years old. Graduated high school. <laughs> um, so that's great, and it's like a neighborhood here. So there's a park across the street, the harbor's across the street, there's a beach across the street, there's a fishing pier with another another little restaurant there, and there's just all like little hotels here that dot this whole area that you could go to either, any of them and they have restaurants and bars and it's just a cool place. You know, um, one other thing going back to the yacht clubs, um, one of my favorite things about being a yacht club member is that uh, even though that's our yacht club, we can go to any yacht club in the world, I think, which is pretty cool. There's, Most, other, yeah. there's other yacht clubs nearby, just literally within a half mile or a mile from here. And we actually went yacht club hopping the other day. That was sort of fun, so. They had a schooner regatta the other yeah. day. All these schooners from, some were 100 years old, some were 10 years old, some were 200 feet in length, some were 15 feet in length. So it was pretty, pretty cool deal. But we said the word yacht club a lot, or you said the word yacht club. It's like a little bit more than like a gym membership. I mean, we are like at this really just, nondescript cool little yacht club and we just became social members so that it's and one it's, of the things we like most about being with works here in san diego andrew just likes saying yacht club i forgot one of the things that i really like about living on the boat is you come home to your house but you can work on projects like normally i worked on projects on the weekend or every other weekend and now i can work on projects every day or on weekends and i'm getting a lot done yeah, which is cool. It's pretty good at it too. So what do we like least about being a little board? Well, first of all, I'll tell you, he had a hard time even coming up with one thing he doesn't like. So that's pretty cool. I have a few things. I have a few. Um, number one, I'm not a fan of laundry. We did get our washing machine, washer dryer combo fixed, but it's not super efficient. I put a load of towels in yesterday morning and I believe they're still drying. <laughs> believe it or not. Um, I went in and checked this morning, they were still a little bit damp, so they're still drying. Um, it's really great for very small loads of lightweight items, not so much towels. So then what we have to do is take our laundry up to the facilities at the hotel. And I'm just not a fan of that either. I'm not a laundromat girl. I'm just not. I'm not a fan of cold, rainy days. We've had a few of those this week. I don't like taking my dog for a walk when it's drizzling and windy. I'd rather just be at my old house by a fireplace on a cold windy day. But hey, at least we have our little fireplace downstairs. What about you? Yeah, and this is San Diego. There's not too many cold, right. rainy days, but we've had a couple. Although you may not like hot, sunny days either because we don't have any air conditioning. That's a good point. That'll be on the next episode when it starts to get hot here. Because it's going to get hot this week. So I struggled to come up with anything. Andrea was asking me, you know, what do you like least? And I'm like, I can't. I can't think of anything. I like it all. You know how guys have refrigerator blindness? I don't know, Some maybe not all guys have that, but some guys have that. And that's in a normal refrigerator. And y'all know what refrigerator blindness is, right? Where you can't find anything, but it's like really right there. Your wife or spouse has to come up and say, here it is right in front of you. I think it's a guy thing. So on these two small refrigerators here, forget about it. I can't find, can't find anything. anything. It doesn't matter how big it is. It doesn't matter where it is. I can't find, because we have two. And I always say, is it on the left side or the right side? And she's like, I don't know, check the left side. I feel like I'm searching for stuff in the refrigerator constantly. Yeah. And then I have to get up and get involved in the search. And then maybe the only other thing is like, but this is a good thing, I think. Like in my house, if I came home from work, I would just take off my clothes and like just leave them everywhere. Or I would just leave shoes out all the time or, you know, whatever, because there's more room. Here, you can't leave anything out. You, I put my clothes away immediately, I put my shoes in the closet, because then you're tripping over stuff or it's clutter everywhere. The space issues, but that's a good thing. That's actually something that caused me to just be more organized or tidy. 
And speaking of space, <laughs> I learned something in the past 10 days about the realities of live aboard life when Tom got some cold or started with allergies and the next thing you know, he basically has bronchitis and he's hacking up a lung every night all night long. <laughs> and so I realized because we are still in the process of finding places for all our stuff, um, our, our V birth is not inhabitable yet. It's got our scooters, it's got our camera gear, it's just got stuff on it. And in the house, you just, when your spouse is coughing their head off, you just go get in another bed or you get on the sofa. Well, we don't really have a sofa. We have this built-in settee or whatever you call it. And then the V-Birth is full of stuff. The funny thing is he'll have his whole coughing spell and then he's in a deep sleep seconds later and I'm like laying there for an hour. So yeah, no place to escape when your spouse is sick, but hey, hopefully next time one of us is sick, we'll fix that dilemma and we'll have a V-Birth to run to. Yeah. And being sick on a boat is a little less fun. Not that it's any different. You don't like being sick in a house either, but um, just, you know, the dampness, the cold, you know, you just want. But it's, it's warm here. We have two heaters. It, it works great. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't mind it. On a scale of one to 10, what do we rate the live aboard life, the full-time live aboard life After, so far? Is it three weeks or four weeks? It's been a few weeks. Yeah, I rated it nine at least. What's living at in a house? Am I comparing it to that? <laughs> Just normal living, you might give an eight to because there's stuff at your house too or projects or stuff you don't like about your house. I give it a nine, I, I, almost a 10. I think if I wasn't sick yeah. or you have a cold for the last 10 days, it would have been a 10 because I would have been doing more. Okay, I think I'd probably give it a nine too. And I think that answer could vary throughout the year. I have a feeling when it comes time for say Thanksgiving and Christmas, I'm not gonna be as happy being on a boat because I love my house and decorating my house. And hey, you can be sure we're gonna be decorating this boat in December, but yeah. um, for now, I'd say I give it a nine also. I give it a major thumbs up. It's fun. Rosie, what about you? Rosie, I'll tell you what people like least about having <laughs> Rosie nearby is she's still getting used to neighbors and dogs and everything. So she's <clears throat> barking at dogs walking by. Yeah, over on JDoc, um, there were not any dogs that were there on a weekly basis that were further down the dock than we were. Here, there's about 12 liveaboard dogs further down the dock than we are that go by every day and they get barked at by Rosie. I'm not sure we're their favorite people so far. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, have you taken a moment to hit that subscribe button? You would be blessing us and honoring us if you would take a moment to do that, each and every one of you. It would just help us to grow our channel and we're just so grateful for you. Thank you for being here on the journey with us and we'll, we'll see, see y'all soon. soon.